what's up? Brother Brian, bringing it at you. I'm throwing something at you tonight. You know, I want to reach down into your soul and get a hold of you. And uh, I want you to feel something, okay? If you love music, you know, if you're a true music lover, you know, you're not out trying to impress people with your fancy smancy record collection, you know. You're not trying to get out there trying to make friends, you know, and influence people and you know, and it's just wonderful. I got this beautiful records and stuff like that. You know, I'm going to bring something at you that I don't know if I've seen anybody. Maybe they have. Maybe I've missed it. Check this out. I'll show you guys some albums that I really enjoy. I love these albums. And I know you guys are sick of hearing about this fucking mo-fi, hi-fi fucking bullshit. Brother Brian from the garage going to bring you some lo-fi. Now, I don't have, you know, you guys have a better record collection than me. I'm sure you guys could show some fucking killer shit. So I just want to show some, some lo-fi that I love. Okay, one of my favorite lo-fi albums is this one right here. Black Gold by Nina Simone. I believe this album was recorded and it sounds like a, a high school gymnasium. The sound quality is horrible. It's, I absolutely love it. When I first bought this album, it's just crackles. And it, it's just rough. And it's just, you know, and I, I just listened to it. And it's just like, man. So I bought another one. I got two copies. And they're both kind of rough. I've learned to love this album in all of its imperfection. You know, it's, it's not the best quality recording and all that stuff. But I can still hear the soul of the wonderful Nita Simone. She's one of my favorites. Okay, got to remember the old Stanley Brothers folk music, old folk music. You know, the old stuff is lo-fi music, you know. So if you got any old folk, like the Stanley Brothers, look at the look at the, the back of this. I don't know if the lighting's horrible. I know it looks like it was typed out on a typewriter. It's even got the, uh, the, uh, the International Fan Club address on the back. Okay, lo-fi stuff. I love it. And let's not forget this. Jimi Hendrix bootleg. This thing sounds horrible, but guess what? Who wouldn't want this? Jimi Hendrix bootleg. You know, live. 1970 in Hawaii. You know what? I see this thing in the, in the record store. It's got tape. It's, the, it's got a picture taped onto the front of it. Okay, it's not mobile fidelity. It's not hi-fi. It's on this thing here. It's a hen. The sleeve, you know, it's a little discolored. I don't have it in the mobile sleeve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it doesn't look all that great. But guess what, man? It's great, man. It's fucking Jimi Hendrix. Come on now. Jimi Hendrix. Rocks and rolls, baby. All right. The Black Key, or yeah, the Black Keys here. El Camino. Okay, these guys, they kind of pride themselves on uh, the old sound, the old vintage sound, okay? Their records sound fantastic. Um, they, they record it with the old tubes and stuff, okay? And let's not forget this. It's one, another one of my favorite albums right here, man, from the Buddy Banks and the Whiska. Fucking Mar Nirvana, man. I love this album. It's one of my favorite fucking rock albums. Fucking Nirvana. You know, here's another fucking bootleg, man. It's a Nirvana bootleg. Are you gonna pass that up? Because it's a, it's not a mofi, it's a lo-fi, man. It sounds just like it looks, man. It's like something somebody put together. Still fantastic. You know, then we got this guy here, Robert Pollard from Guided by Voices, man. He brings some lo-fi. The guy does a lot of his recordings in a garage on a tape of his boombox, his first recordings, man. And this shit just kicks ass. It's garage rock. The guy's a local from Dayton, Ohio. Fucking art, man. You know, it's not about spending a lot of money. You know, this guy, you know, he just kicks ass. I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's a garage rocking sound. Very good music. Another local band, the Buffalo Killers. I think these guys are either from Dayton or Cincinnati. Okay. Fucking, they just, you know, when you ain't got a ton of money to have this big high production thing you do the best you can 
Okay, here's another one, Guided by Voices. I just was grabbing them. I don't have them in no particular order. But look at that, man. You know, where are some of you, what are, where are some of you punk rockers, man? Why aren't you guys defending the lo-fi garage rock and shit, man? Husker do. Husker do. Look at that, man. These guys are fucking lo-fi. Dinosaur Jr. Another fucking killer group that's lo-fi. White, white Fence. Live, baby. Fucking lo-fi killer. Here's a little compilation with all these punk rock bands on it, man. I love it. Got Clint Eastwood on the cover. They just did the best they can to bring you some fucking killer music, man. You got Bikini Kill, man. Some more good old fucking garage rockers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about fucking Ty Seagal? Fucking Ty Seagal. Lo-fi. Fucking killer shit, baby. And let's, not, let's just end it off with the Misfits, man. These guys... Fucking, you know, who loves the fucking misfits, okay? There is no mofo fucking misfits, and I sure to hell hope there never is, man. This is to be heard a certain fucking way, and this is the way you want to fucking hear it. On the old fucking shit, recorded like it was supposed to be heard, man. Brother Brian's out of here with some fucking lo-fi, baby. Showing some love, man. I'm out of here.